This is Dave Espenscheid, a Microsoft CRM certified consultant with Customer Dynamics. In this lesson, we'll review how to navigate CRM. We're going to review the user interface to give you a foundation of navigating the system, which later lessons will build upon. The user interface of CRM will feel very familiar if you've been using Office 2010 products. By understanding the user interface of CRM, you'll be able to quickly and easily enter and use information that you need. I'll also show you some of the many ways you can personalize CRM 2011 to fit your needs and the way you work. The main area of CRM that you see here is called the grid. The grid displays the records that you've chosen to view. In this case, we're looking at the account records. There are several ways to filter the information that you see in the grid that I'll give you a brief introduction to now, but we'll cover more in detail later. In the top left, you'll see views which filter the records in a preset way. In the top right you'll see a quick search bar which allows you to perform a search for a particular record. To the right you can expand charts which allow you to filter the record in the grid by clicking on portions of the charts. At the bottom of the grid you'll see an index bar which allows you to filter by first letter you can quickly and easily change what records you view in CRM by selecting options here on the left. In the bottom left you'll see application areas, workplace, sales, marketing, service, settings, and resource center. These are the main areas of CRM. You'll, you'll likely spend most of your time in one area depending on your position and work responsibilities. For example, if you're a salesperson, you'll likely spend most of your time in the sales area. This portion of the screen directly above the application areas is called the application navigation pane. Once you select an application area, the content of the application navigation pane will change. For example, if I select the sales area, know that the application navigation pane will display different options. I can then choose any option from the application navigation pane. If I select contacts, for example, the grid will display contacts that are stored in CRM. Just above the application navigation area, you'll see a home button, which allows you to move to a, a home page of your choice, which I'll show you how to set later. Just to the right of the home button, you'll see a recently viewed pages and views button, which allows you to do just that. Quickly access recently viewed records or views. You know that there's push pins which allow you to permanently pin the records or views. At the top of the screen, you'll see the navigation ribbon. The navigation ribbon should be familiar to you if you've been using Office 2010 products. The navigation ribbon contains actions available, which will change depending on what you're viewing in CRM. Right now, the navigation ribbon contains actions relating to contacts because we're currently viewing contacts in the grid. Here, for example, we could quickly create a new contact by clicking on the new button in the navigation ribbon. You'll also see tabs for view, charts, add and customize. In future lessons, we'll be using the navigation ribbon to complete various actions. As with all Microsoft products, there's a file tab in CRM. At this point, I'd like to focus on the options menu item. On the general tab, you first have an option to set your home page. This will apply to the home page that is displayed when you first log in, and also the home page that's displayed when you hit the home button. You have the option to set both your default pane, also called the application area, and the default tab. For example, as a salesperson, you may want to see your leads when you first log in. To do so, you'd select the sales pane and leave the default tab as leads but you can select any other option here. If you're just getting started with CRM, you may have noticed the Get Started panes throughout CRM. If you don't want these to be displayed anymore, you can select this option here. You can also choose how many records are displayed per page on the grid. This ranges from 25 records to 250 records. If you are experiencing some system slowness, you may want to decrease the number of records that are displayed per page. 
You can also change your time zone. You'll want to make sure that's correct. On the Workplace tab, you can change what's actually displayed on the Workplace area by selecting these options here. These are only a few of the ways you can customize CRM to fit your needs. In future lessons, we're going to review many other ways that you can tailor CRM to the way that you work. In this lesson, we reviewed the user interface of CRM. You should now be familiar with the general layout of CRM and how to navigate the system. You're also now able to make some basic changes to your personal settings in CRM. Thanks for watching.